there are three ways to open doors according to scripture the first way we open doors is through the use of the correct keys when you use a correct key not a key a correct key a door is opened the second way we open doors is by knocking two relationships when you knock that door the person at the other end must like you enough to open that door remember the man who was begging bread for his friends in the night he came and knocked the door and said friend there are other friends who have come because you are my friend stand up and open the door for me if you don't understand relationships there are doors that will never open because there is a way we open doors by knocking unfortunately when you knock the doors is because you don't have the key the person who has access to the door must like you enough this is where favor comes in but the third way we open doors when there are no keys and there are no friends the third way doors are opened is by rattling the foundations by force now the advantage of breaking those doors is that if you use a correct key and the person coming after you does not have the key the door will still be closed like your children if you knock and the relationship opens for you and does not open for your spouse they will remain outside but when God comes he shakes the foundation the door is only there because it's connected to a foundation when he pushes that foundation both you and your children and everybody who comes after you listen to me when Paul and Silas were praying other prisoners were not praying but when the doors opened every prisoner went every every they leveraged on the prayer advantage so the benefits of prayer go beyond you you are the one who does the engaging in the place of prayer but your children will eat from it your members will reap from it your family members nuclear and extended will reap from it he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint let's do some prayer time is up even if it's just for five minutes is that all right i like you to invest the time that we have no roaming around no looking around no gisting if you have been distracted it's a demon spirit focus your attention on jesus christ go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit Pray in the spirit. Oh, 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 Go ahead. Sapra Catapalata Parantas Catapragata. Saka Paracata Pratacata Palacata Pacatos. Let a Prenta Cataparacata Patos Cate. Sate la Caparentas Capracatapas. La Catapacata Paranto Soto Bracata Bellacata. Ratata Prenta Capacata Bellacata Pros. Sate Saparentos Coto Pentecate. Ebracata Patacata Lacate. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray a few minutes you are saying never again and you are saying amen never again
to sickness never again to infirmity never again to defeat never again to limitations never again to delay and stagnation never again to limitations you're a man of God in ministry pray pray the next dimension of your ministry pray the next dimension of your relevance word of the forces the arsenals of darkness that sit upon cities sit upon territories and nations In a palasha praskate la caparanta safresketia. A few minutes, you are praying. A few minutes, you are praying. Shapa nekapeles, rakate praskate la catapanda capriacata. Pray yourself into a more superior version. Pray yourself from a weak to a stronger version. Pray yourself from a carnal to a spiritual version. Pray yourself from a limited to an unlimited version. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray. I'd like you to engage with understanding. You are going to challenge every other voice, every other covenant, every other ordinance that has found its way to your life that is inconsistent with the verdict of heaven. Manipulations of darkness. Someone lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Every hiding must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every hiding must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every hiding must come down. Every song all shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Go ahead and pray. Yokes of limitations over Jalingo, over Taraba State. Yokes of limitation in ministry, limitations in business. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The spirits of captivity keeping God's people bound, keeping ministries bound. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm giving you two more prayer points. Please look at me. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, Jesus told the disciples, it says let us go to the other side our influence should not be limited here let us go to the other side increase expansion and as soon as they got into the boat the bible says there arose a storm of wind many attacks in your life is because of the prophecy for increase the prophecy for expansion that a higher level of grace had left heaven and yet is still not landed upon your life because somewhere in that journey there has arisen a storm of wind but we are going to do what jesus did the bible says he rebuked the wind and he said peace be still is someone ready to pray say father shout it again say father in the name of jesus i decree i declare that every challenge every attack over my life over my ordination over my destiny be destroyed now go ahead and pray be destroyed every attack
I want you to pray this with all your heart. It's going to be a prayer for advancement. Let me tell you the truth. Everything that is alive grows. Growth is a fundamental characteristic of living things. To grow means to increase in size. It also means to increase in influence, to increase in relevance. If you truly love God and love his program, you must love advancement. Because there are certain levels of influence that cannot afford you the opportunity to do much for the kingdom. There are music ministers that need to grow. There are apostles that need to grow. There are prophets that need to grow. The kind of oil you are carrying on your head, you can't be trusted with the nations. No. There needs to be an expansion of that capacity. Their glory is in weights. And there are certain weights of glory. If you do not carry, you cannot be trusted with certain assignments. Someone is ready to go forward. You are going to pray. It's an aggressive prayer commanding advancement. Now listen. Acts chapter 12. The Bible says there were three gates that were opened. This is the last prayer point. The first gate opened. Peter was out of the prison. But he was not out of the prison area. The second gate opened. Then the Bible says when they got to the iron gate there is a gate called the iron gate that leads to the city is that in your bible not every gate there are gates that bring you out of prison but there are gates that lead to the city that is the gate that comes that controls territorial influence if that gate is not open no matter how anointed you are the nations cannot hear you the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder someone is about to open this gate in the place of prayer for the next two minutes i want you to engage the gate that controls influence you must swing heater and teeter it's time for the revelation of the glory of god upon my life and upon my destiny someone shout it say father i decree and declare that every gate of limitation over my life over my kingdom service let that gate be open now prophesy a father be open a father be open go ahead and pray be open a father be open a father be open a father be open gates open open for greater kingdom exploits open for access to greater resources open for more strategic relationships open for higher levels of light open for greater stature in the spirit open a father be open a father be open theta and heta be open let the king of glory come in be open let the saints in light come in be open let the work of the kingdom find visibility be open help the lady under the anointing so she doesn't injure herself in jesus name in jesus name as we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by apostle joshua selman let the transformative truths shared resonate within your spirit may the seed of wisdom faith and purpose take root bringing forth abundant fruit in your life carry the light of revelation into your week knowing that you are equipped for victorious living stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of god's love and grace 
until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment. Go forth in confidence and may your journey be filled with divine favor. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video. God bless you.